Hi, I'm Rita Wilkins, also known as the Downsizing Designer. So I am an interior designer for the last 40 years, um, a TEDx speaker, a best-selling author, and just grateful to be actually living the life that I designed and the life that I love. So five things that I wish someone had told me before I made my mistakes. So the first thing is to pos it is possible to live with less um, and live more. You don't need stuff to be happy. The second one is the art of pivoting. Uh, when it's time to reinvent, it's time to reinvent. And number three is learning to see through walls to see new possibilities. Number four is we all have choices and that helps us make better decisions. And then the last one is how much fun it is to live life on the skinny branches. So the first one um, about living less and living more. So as a designer for over 40 years, I've had the opportunity to be around a lot of beautiful stuff, beautiful buildings. And I've also learned to live um, that living small, you can have it all. So it was a life changing visit that I had to a third world country um, almost eight years ago, where I, op I experienced people who had nothing, but they were happy. So I chose to downsize from 5,000 square feet home that I had built um, to an 867 square foot, beautiful jewel box apartment in, in a city. Um, I gave away 95% of what I once owned and I've never been happier. So seven years after downsizing and decluttering my home and my life, I realized that the more stuff I had, the more stress I had, you know, too much clutter detracts from a quality of life because you have less time, less money, less freedom and less energy um, to enjoy the life and to pay attention to those things that really matter. So owning less um, and learning to be grateful um, for all that you have provides peace, comfort and contentment. And the second one, um, how important it is to pivot when you're not living in alignment with what matters most to you. So lives change, um, circumstances change, and so must we. So change can be scary, um, but it can also be exciting. Um, it's an opportunity to pivot, to reinvent, to redesign your life. So when I became a single mom um, of two teenage boys, my life was turned upside down. Um, but I was determined to not only survive, but to thrive with my two teenage sons. So it was at that point in my life, I learned to, um, to pivot. So the art of pivoting is one of the best skills and the most important skills that people and business owners um, can have. So pivoting, shifting gears, realizing you need to change, um, makes you think out of the box, consider um, how to create new options and how to re reinvent and redesign your life. And number three, um, it's so important to see through walls, see through those bar barriers by asking a lot of questions. So Huckleberry Finn once said, get in some someone's shoes and walk around in them. So my boys would often tease me by saying, you know that my mom is gonna ask you a thousand questions. So in my defense, um, that, that is my way of getting to know my clients, their wants, their needs, their wish list before I design. So if I'm to provide the best design solutions for them, I need to get to know them, what's working, what's not working um, in their business and their homes and, um, and so forth. And once I know them better, I can, I can help them see through those walls, see possibilities that they might not have considered themselves. So this opens doors to the best design solutions um, that not only changes spaces, but it also changes lives. And number four, the importance of having options. You know, we all love choices. And one story was as a young designer, um, I worked diligently for weeks to prepare for my first very large corporate client. I was so proud of what I had designed and excited to present my one beautiful design. So after my presentation, my client very politely sat there and said, is that all there is? I'll never forget that moment or that sinking feeling in my stomach. Of course there was more. In my head, I had at least five or 10 different options, but why did I just give him one? I hadn't taken the time um, to give him more choices. 
and fortunately, um, he, he knew I was young and he gave me the opportunity to present a second time. And at that point I, um, presented two different solid options, um, a few weeks later. That's when I created what I call the magic of three, because, um, three designs of the same space, um, helps people to have choices and then to make better decisions. And my last one is, um, how much fun it is to live life on the skinny branches. So all my life, I've well, 40 years of my life, I've been a business owner. Um, so taking risks is just part of my blood. Um, and learning to love living out of your comfort zone, um, where you're regularly challenged to figure things out, to create new solutions, um, to prototype them, because for sure you're going to make some mistakes along the way, but you learn from your mistakes, you learn from your failure. So I would strongly recommend you learn to step out of your comfort zone, take risks, create new opportunities for yourself and see how much fun life can be, how exciting life can be when, um, as opposed to living a status quo life.